Hello there, welcome to this tutorial. What I'm going to do is use a GD script to call a C sharp method. Um, I might also do it the other way around, but let's start with it. So we're going to put our C, let's just say, call this level one, create a node, and this is going to contain our C sharp script. So attach your script, make sure it's C, we'll call this uh, C sharp script. Right, and we'll just call this C sharp mode. Then what we're going to do is create a button. So this button is going to use a GD script to call the C sharp method. But we're going to write the method in a second. So bear with. Call C sharp on GD. And let's create. Uh, actually, let's write the method now so we can call it. So pull. Click um, void what you want the method to be called. I'm going to call it do work. Uh, GD.print. This was called from GD. Executed in C sharp. Make sure you save the script. Now we're going to attach a script to the button to call the C sharp from the dot script. And let's say font. Um, press because it's part of the button, so every time we press the button, this will be executed. Uh, it's get node, and we get the root, so it's level one, and it's C sharp node, and it's call. And now, when you want to call a method, you, you, you call the method by its name, so here it's the work. However, if, what if you had arguments? Well, you would put them in like this. So let's say you had a name argument, and a, an agent argument, and so forth. But mine doesn't have any arguments, so we're not going to worry about that just yet. So we're going to try run this. Hopefully, it should work fine. Oh, yeah, save the scene. Oh, yeah, overwrite it because that was from a previous one. And then um, there we go. This was called from. GD script by executed in C sharp. So you can see the button press is actually here. So why would you want to do this? Um, the main reason is speed. Um, C sharp to develop in, I find it's slower, this it's harder to develop in, but the power you get is it sometimes really worth it. So I would recommend that you you do like you play a movie really simple, but say if you want to load a really big level, just write a C sharp script and then call that method in Godot. Godot, and then um, you should get huge gains. I'm in the magnitude of 500% uh, without exaggerating, maybe even quicker. So, um, so how are you going to do it the other way around? It's pretty much the same. So, you, the tutorial's technically finished here, but I'm going to try and complete it uh, for completion's sake again. So, let's go back. Let's make um, let's make it a, a node and. Um, We'll uh, store a uh, good dot script on here. I don't know. Let's call it this. And then let's call this func dd script uh, print. This was called from C sharp. Don't know why I'm in caps at the end there. Um, let's just make sure this is GD node. Let's make another button. Um, doesn't really matter what the button's called. I'm going to say call GD from C sharp and attach the C sharp script to that. I don't, um, we'll just call this. Great. And same as the other button in the GD, this can be public override void pressed. So once again, anytime this button's pressed, this will execute every single time. So it's get node and caps. Same again. Oops. Root level one. What's it called? GD node. Um I can't remember what I called it, so let's go call 
What was the night work called? Oh yeah, of course. And then save this. Press play, confirm, make sure that's your default. And now when I press the call C sharp from G Yep and call G D and you'll see it works. So pretty much it's the same call, it's just this really. Um so yeah, I, I hope that's helped you out and if you've got any C sharp related tutorials that you think I should do that they don't exist at the moment, please give me a shout, I'm happy to do them. Uh, I'm finding I'm learning lots each day and, it, and it's made hard because it's not that much tutorials for C sharp just yet. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. Take care. Bye bye.